hello everyone and welcome to only maths okay so the today discussion is pretty much very difficult discussion and i hope you understand this at the end of the video just watch this very intuitive and very interesting that so many people i mean so many my students and my friends they basically ask me one thing always that why this happens that this is infinity minus infinity people say this is zero okay so infinity minus infinity equals to zero all right and uh, people say that is correct because that is infinity all right that is infinity something and that is infinity again something and these two are equal so you can write this just like this that a minus a is equals to zero okay so a minus a equals to zero so in that point of view if we put a is equals to infinity then infinity minus infinity equals to zero okay it's correct okay but there's a fallacy and there's a big problem whenever we write this kind of thing the problem is not with a the problem is all about infinity so infinity is first of all not a number okay so we generally cannot write like this but at limiting sense we can write like this okay but at some sense we can write like this but there is a problem with infinity is because that infinity we can write infinity plus infinity all right infinity we can write infinity plus something let's say two all right so if we add something to infinity or if we add or subtract something from infinity let's say infinity minus one that should be infinity let's say infinity minus let's say twenty thousand that is again infinity and that is the problem okay so next go to the next page and let me show you how it is happening so infinity minus infinity equals to zero we assume this okay we assume this then there will be problem like this so we put infinity is equal this first infinity is equals to infinity plus two okay minus infinity because we can keep infinity and we can write infinity as infinity plus two then what will happen like this so that implies of course that is zero so if we cancel this as we know that infinity minus infinity plus two equals to zero as we have already known that this is equals to zero so zero plus two equals to zero so two equals to zero so you can see that that is basically contradiction okay we just cannot cancel here just write this just group in this term and can write zero and that is the main problem okay and that is the fallacy that we cannot assume like this because if we can assume like this then uh, this kind of contradiction can happen that is a pure contradiction you can see means the whole number system will be break down and uh, there will be only one number is zero basically okay means everything will be zero means the dimension will be zero okay so that is the problem so that's why we basically cannot write infinity minus infinity equals to zero but we can write infinity plus infinity is equals to infinity okay but we cannot write like this because we cannot subtract two big numbers okay that is the main main problem here and the reason is this okay so i think you got this problem and we will talk about later about this infinity infinity is a very different kind of concept all right and uh, we'll talk about it later so just for this this is i think very into intuitive okay hope you like this video and if you really like this video then of course if you're not subscribed then please subscribe and of course share this and if you have anything in mind then let me know in the comment okay thanks everyone for watching